Hey, Bone, check out my new self-defense keychain. Man, what the heck is that? Bro, it's a rape whistle. <laughs> Got me a new keychain, bro. What do you think? I got you now, bro. Man, what the heck is that? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What do you think about this one, bro? What do you think about this one? I got you, man. What do you think? All right, bro. I finally got the most effective self-defense tool in the world off of bonetactical.com. That's what I'm talking about, my brother. Hey guys, Bone Tactical here, and all jokes aside, we're gonna get into self-defense and self-defense tools right now, okay? I've got over 10 self-defense tools here right in front of me, and I really hate to make assumptions, but I'm going to assume that you guys already have an understanding of why self-defense tools are important. If you don't, let me really, really briefly just tell you why self-defense tools are so important. Watch the news in your area. Find out about how many crazy things happen just all over the world. Doesn't matter where you are, there's crazy people there doing random acts of violence in one way or another. Violent acts in the United States happen every seven seconds, conservative estimate with you know really no way to prevent them a lot of the time and nothing you can do about it no way to know that it's coming other than having some good situational awareness but what a self-defense tool does is it really just gives you the advantage in that situation allows you to survive thrive and live to fight another day so let's talk about self-defense tools now the majority of the people watching this video are going to say why do i need to know this I carry a gun, I carry a knife every day. I'm, you know, I'm a Rambo type guy. Or even if you're not, even if you're just a really conservative, um, walk softly, carry a big stick type guy, and you say, well, Bone, you know, I carry a gun, I carry a knife. Why do I need a self-defense tool other than that? Why would I need a self-defense keychain? What is a self-defense keychain? Stop right now, okay? If you know somebody who's the type of person that says, I carry a gun or a knife everywhere I go, that's a complete myth, and I'll tell you why in a second, but stop right now. Pause this video, please, and send it to somebody that is that type of person that thinks, I'm good because I carry a gun. I'm good because I carry a knife. Pause this video. Go to your WhatsApp, go to your messaging, go to your SMS, text messaging, iMessaging, whatever you use, okay? Send this video to one person that carries a gun or carries a knife, okay? Because the reason I need you to do that is because I need to spread awareness. I need to raise awareness. You, you, if, you if it's you that I'm talking to and you say, Bone, I don't need a self-defense tool that you have or that you make or that I don't need the most effective self-defense tool in the world because I got a gun. Who's going to mess with me when I have a gun? Who's going to mess with me when I have a knife? Okay, you don't always have a gun or have a knife really quickly. You don't have a gun on airplanes. You don't have a gun in courthouses. You don't have a gun in um, when you're traveling between state lines because if you do, it's illegal. Even if you have a concealed weapons permit, you can't carry your gun on you between state lines. A lot of people that have a gun in their car, they don't have a gun on their person. A lot of people that have a gun in their house, they don't have a gun on their person. Okay, so a tool is only effective if you have it, guys. You can't carry a knife or a gun. A lot of government jobs won't allow you to have a gun or a knife on you. A lot of um, there's a lot of jobs where people can't have a carry gun on them while they're working, okay? So what can you do to get around that? How can you have a force multiplier? If you get into a situation where you things become physical, or if you consider yourself a sheepdog type person that's trying to protect the innocents around you or the people that can't protect themselves, how are you going to do that? If you get in a situation against multiple attackers or some bad guys or some crazy people, people with mental illnesses, a bad situation, you find yourself in that bad situation, but you don't have your gun or you don't have your knife because either you don't or you can't, you're in a situation where it's a no a weapons free zone where you can't legally use it. Do you want to go to jail after? Are you on it? You know, what if you're on an airplane during a terrorist attack, something that's becoming more and more of a problem in today's America where we have people that are, um, 
you know, we have terrorists now. It's something we have to deal with. Okay, so now we've proven that you don't always have a gun, you don't always have a knife. Let's talk about what do you think? Comment below right now and tell me what you think is the most effective self-defense tool. Okay, we've discussed that you don't always have a gun and you don't have a knife. Is there something else you think is the most effective self-defense tool? I'm gonna really quickly cover mace, pepper spray, and tasers, okay? Because those are common misconceptions. Mace and pepper spray. I'm gonna tell you um, right now that there's a lot of people in prison in the United States that can just get maced and pepper sprayed in the face all the time and nothing will happen to those guys. They're just tough dudes that have been maced and pepper sprayed a lot. People with mental illnesses, people with mental toughness, people that are on drugs, okay? That covers, and people who have been in prison. Mental tough, tough guys, crazy guys, people who have been in prison, which is um, all criminals right there, okay? All criminals fit into one of those. So now you've got pepper spray and it's just not effective. If you pepper spray me, okay, you're just gonna piss me off. I'm telling you right now. If you mace me, if you pepper spray me, it's not gonna help you. Do not consider those in your in your arsenal, okay? A taser, unless it's like the really high-end military or police taser, then and those are too hard to carry. And you and they're illegal to carry a lot of places. You can get in trouble for using them. So tasers and mace off the okay, not important mace is just useless, guys. And a taser, okay, it might work if it's the really hot if it's a cheap, crappy one, it's just gonna piss people off again. And then if it's the really high-end kind, it's, it's not worth it because it has too many legal infractions. And then I'm gonna get into the next thing of what actually is. Whatever you commented below, if you commented impact weapons, tag, tap yourself on the back. Because the most effective self-defense tools in the world are impact weapons. Um, we just did a little uh, skit, a funny skit on impact weapons and we talked really quickly about them and, and, and showed a couple uh, just a, a skit, but now let me tell you why impact weapons are the most effective. If impact weapons are done right, they're legal to carry anywhere in the world, okay? You can bring them anywhere. I brought my impact weapons in the last year to like 20 different countries, 15 countries, 20 different flights, okay? 20 international flights, about 15 countries, probably more than that, all over Europe, Israel, um, you guys can see the videos. The videos are all up here. I've brought them in so many different countries, n zero problems, no problems, in clubs, in banks, in courthouses, on airplanes, so many different airplanes, okay? And absolutely devastating tools. And I'm bringing them on flights and never having a problem, okay, guys? So just a, if, if done right, impact weapons, impact tools, like my self-defense keychains, which we'll get into in a second, are just devastating. Now, let me, we started this video with my buddy Matt coming in jokingly, um, talking about some of what's, to, what's the competition. I really hope that none of you guys think a rape whistle is a valid self-defense tool. I really hope not. Okay, we can look at humans as far as self-defense situations go, have a very similar predator-prey uh, response and predator prey feedback loop as do the wild animals of our of our animal kingdom okay and and you can look at any kind of predator prey relationship and when that predator takes down the prey it's making all kinds of noise it's it's flapping around everybody else is scared and gets out of there that's what happens in a self-defense situation liberals will tell you to pee on yourself so you make yourself less physically appealing i'm telling you if a guy wants to rape you he's going to rape you it's not going to matter if you pee on yourself it's not going to matter if you blow a whistle if that's the type of guy that's out there raping people which you have to be just an absolutely sadistic type person to do that then a whistle's not going to help you. People around you are not going to help you. They even tell you to yell fire if you're being raped. Don't yell rape because if you yell rape, you're going to scare people and they're going to run away. It's that predator prey response. Rape whistle's useless, okay? We'll go into the next thing. Kubaton, okay? This is a standard Kubaton. Cheap, crappy, aluminum Kubaton, okay? Does this work well and function as a weapon? Absolutely yes, okay? It, it's you know, minimal, there's no protection against these small bones of the hand, there's no protection against the knuckles, but I can I can punch here and stab here with a hammer fist and it'll work a little bit. The problem with this is it's only a weapon. This is a weapon, it's still just as illegal as any other weapon. You can't bring it on a plane, you can't bring it 
courthouse, okay? So it's a weapon. It's a weapon's a weapon, a weapon. You can be arrested for this. If you defend yourself with it, you'll probably go to jail, okay? So yes, a coup baton works, but it's not even anywhere close to as effective in it as any of my tools, and it's also illegal where my tools are legal 100% anywhere in the world. So coup baton, it's out. All right, let's go to the next thing. I don't even know what this is. Guys, this looks, literally looks like it's a, it's a phallic looking thing, okay? I, you guys that don't know what that means, look it up. Um, I don't understand why anybody would ever carry this, okay? It, it's supposed to be function similarly to a bone breaker, but I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even fit in the hand. You can't even, you can't even put it in your hand any kind of way. I mean, it does, it, it doesn't fit. It's too bulky, weird there. If your keys are attached to it, then your keys are going to get in the way. What is this? What is this? Are you, are you trying to just like poke, you know, give somebody a massage, a Thai massage? What? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with this thing. It, the idea is something similar to what I make, but you know, just absolute failure. I guess it's for people with tiny hands. I, I have people telling me that they have way bigger hands than me that are looking for self-defense tools, way bigger hands than me. And I have just, you know, large or maybe extra large size gloves. And this is just way too small for me. I don't know what the heck it is. And it's not effective at all. Okay, we've got this uh, giant key thing here. Now, this is the first thing that's 100% legal, okay? This is legal because it looks like a key. It's, okay, it's probably still illegal to carry because it's a weapon, but 99% of the time, people are going to think it's a key. It doesn't have a secondary use. It doesn't have a bottle opener. It doesn't have any other thing. But if you can convince the police officer that it's a key for something, then you can probably still carry it. The next problem is, is that these, look how tiny these, look how big my finger is. And look how tiny these little cutouts here are for the fingers. It's, it's just uncomfortable. Okay. It's the best out of the ones that I've shown so far, but still, if you, if you punch somebody with this, it's going to roll in your hand. So you lose, you lose that. It might raise the impact, might double the impact of the fist maybe, but then as soon as it starts to bend, it's going to hurt you. Okay. And it's going to, it's just, it's not a extremely effective tool. If you, you can hold it like this, but it's the best. So out of these here, okay guys, but it's still not anywhere near as effective. You want something that's going to fit in your hand. You want something that's going to strengthen these small bones of the hand. You want something that's going to protect the knuckles. This doesn't do any of that. It's also technically illegal. If the cop knows, if he reads on there that it says CRKT, which is a weapons company. Okay. Then we get into the most effective self-defense tools in the world. This is the one I've been carrying most recently. This is a serialized aluminum bone opener, okay? Collector's edition, 100% legal in the, anywhere in the world. It's the only thing that we've talked about so far that's legal anywhere in the world. Why is it legal anywhere in the world? It's a bottle opener, okay? It's got a bottle opener right here. It's a screwdriver. It's got a screwdriver bit in it, okay? It's got an old, I, I, this one I have an old screwdriver bit in there that's old and rusty. The new ones, if you buy it, it comes with a zinc coated nice one. Okay, this is not what it what it, what it looks like when, when you order it, but this just goes, it works great. It's just a, has a little oxidation on it, but I've been carrying this one a long time. There's no nicks and scratches. It still looks just absolutely beautiful. Okay, guys, I mean, really absolutely gorgeous is, is, is what this thing looks like beautiful work of art. It's huge. Okay. It really protects the small bones of the hand. Okay. Fills the entire inside of the hand to strengthen and support these small bones of the hand. It protects the knuckles. All right. I can touch this and I'm not touching my fist at all. Okay. I'm not creating, my fist is not touching at all. No impact. My fist is not touching. My fist is not touching. My fist is not touching. You guys really don't understand how crazy effective these are. Legal to carry anywhere in the world, more effective than mace, more effective than a taser. If you, you don't have a gun and a knife on you, this is the tool that can save your life. You can do crazy damage with this if need be. It can be a glass breaker. You can punch a window of a car, bust out any way you swing your fist to that glass. It's going to hit, okay, on these things. It doesn't bend back and forth like the key did, okay? Once you make a fist, it's solid in your fist. So 
What's going on here is you're talking about an up to an 800% increase in impact power. Why is that? Because you're concentrating this entire power of your fist down to a tiny little point. Think about an elephant wearing high heels, okay? If that elephant, elephants have huge wide feet that spread out so they can walk on the ground without puncturing holes in the ground that they walk on. If an elephant was wearing high heels, it would sink into the ground all the time because that impact power of its foot would be concentrated to a small point. It's simple physics, guys. You, you concentrate the impact power of your entire fist down to a tiny little point and it's just devastating devastating okay i've got lots of options here the biggest and the baddest too okay this one's super affordable it's called the big nasty just get on my website bonetactical.com look up the big nasty it's beautiful stone washed finish okay beautiful stone washed finish guys it's it's handmade hand stamped bone in here i take the letters and hammer them in when this is red hot okay just handmade tool this is machine made uh, collector's edition okay we've got all kinds of them we've got ones with a cross on there that are a little bit thinner and even cheaper we've got the stainless steel bone openers we've got aluminum bone openers we've got these tiny little ones that are super low profile super clandestine options okay but these work just as good well you might say bone how do those work I don't understand okay all the same features. The keys now act as supporting the small bones of the hand. The keys now act as the hammer fist support down here. We've got a bottle opener, so it's legal to carry anywhere in the world. We've got the impact points here and here still. Okay, it does the same thing, but it's just a very, very small version. If you're a woman, if you don't want something big and bulky in your pockets, either one of these is super small and easy to carry. Guys, there's no excuse for you not having at least one of these micros that's $27 on my website. And if you look on my Instagram page, go on Instagram and scroll through, there's discounts, there's 20% off deals, there's 10% off deals, there's 15% off deals. All you gotta do is get on there. You, there's no excuse for not the, anybody in your life that you know that you care about not at least having one of these for $27 and 10% off delivered to your door, guys. We ship every two days, there's no excuse. This is the difference that can save somebody's life right here. You get in a car accident, you can punch out a glass window. You, you're in that, this is just a force multiplier that you can carry anywhere in the world. You guys that can't carry your gun, can't carry your knife in some of those places that we talked about, okay? You gotta have one of these. This, this is the, if you want the one little ones with the spade on them, I made these ones. These are pretty fancy here. This is the, this is the last, only a few of these are in stock and shipping left. This is the last of the ones with the spade cut out there, kind of like a little cool Vietnam era uh, throwback to the spade. Um, and these are really just a cool acid etched uh, finish. And these were very, they were just, they took, I'm losing money on these guys. I'm not making them anymore because they just took so long to make. They were so difficult to make, made by hand. And you know, the acid etched finish put on there, I acid etched every single one of them by hand and then clear coated them. Just really lost a bunch of money on these, but I'm I want I'm gonna get rid of them, selling them out. There's still a couple left at the time of making this video. Get them while you can. Uh, it's part of business. You don't make money on everything. You lose money on some stuff. But guys, that's why I make the most effective self-defense tools in the world. They're just not even comparable to anything else on the market. They're that much more awesome. They're that much crazier, that much more BA. Okay, guys, I got all the edge weapons that you can see behind me. So much cool stuff coming in from Bone Tactical. I, I understand a lot of people maybe don't have the, 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 the fight experience that I do. I've been in, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of physical altercations from prisons in whatever country you want to say. You name a country, I've probably been in prison there at this point. From you know, jails in the United States, prisons, bars. I've worked in bars in however many different states and clubs and just street fights and brawls. And, um, you know, I just told my shooting story the other day about the first time I shot a man, according to the U.S. government. So, you know, it's all public information, guys. I am taking what I used to know as just being a violent person in a violent lifestyle and using violence every day for so many years and, and taking it and now trying to help other people, guys. I know what violence is. I'm intimately familiar with violence. I know how dangerous the world is out there. I know how many people will just 
not care about you or your loved ones, eyes roll back in their heads like a shark and just not even consider what they're doing, what level of nastiness to you, okay? I make these tools to help you, to protect you, to keep the righteous man, the, the man who's doing good things and woman and, and even you know young, young men, young women as well, not necessarily kids, okay? Because hopefully you are gonna be strong enough to protect your children, but this is, these are tools that anybody can carry, okay? Not kids, but anybody can carry. They're not dangerous to, the, to, the, to yourself. These tools are not gonna hurt yourself, okay? They're only designed to save lives. They're only designed to protect people. I'm gonna ask you, they are extremely effective. I'm gonna have to ask you guys, please don't use these tools in a negative way. They're not for bar fights, okay? You know my story. You know that I'm trying to be the change that I wanna see in the world, and I make this stuff to protect good people, okay, against evil. And that's what this stuff's there for. That's why I make the most effective edged weapons and self-defense tools in the world. If you guys want to see more of this, stay tuned because there's a lot more cool stuff coming out for 2020. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for commenting your feedback below. Bone out.